good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Blazer Field here at Gardner Edgerton High School as our Gardner Edgerton Trailblazers will take on the Cougars from Shawnee Mission Northwest. Hello, everyone. I am Chuck Holmes coming to you from Blazer Field, where it is tonight we will watch our Trailblazers try to win another one after defeating uh, Belton last, uh, earlier the last week in a ball game. And tonight, cold. Wind's blowing out of the north where it's been blown out of the south the past few days. But with that being said, we're going to start about Mitch Mock tonight. Mitch Mock's going to be the starting pitcher tonight. He's also going to be the DH. Mitch has been very strong out of the bullpen. He's been selling the Trailblazers down after a rough, shaky first couple of innings. And he's come in and shut the door on people and just done what he's supposed to do and throwing strikes. He's got a wicked curveball and a very effective fastball. So uh, we expect a lot out of Mitch tonight. Then we're going to talk about the senior center fielder, Ty Wood. Ty is the leader of the of the team. He's batting number one. He sets the tone for the offense, left-handed bat. He can also pitch a little bit as well. But we look for Ty to be the one to, 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 to put the fire into the Trailblazers tonight. Some of the keys for our game tonight, Trailblazers need to come out swinging. They need to come out with hit good pitches and make the opposing pitcher work. And when he throws you a good pitch, to take advantage of those good pitches. They usually wait till later in the afternoon or the evening time when the game is uh, uh, they're already trailing and they start swinging the bats very well. But once they do swing the bats, the bats really get going. Strong pitching. We talked about Mitch Mock being able to come out of the bullpen. Tonight he's the starter. And so Mitch is going to be, he'll probably be on a pitch count tonight. Well, so Trailblazers will have to need, they, they will definitely need their bullpen to be just as strong tonight. And then the fundamentals. When the Trailblazers get behind early, it's usually because of the fundamentals that they are throwing the ball all over the field, but they usually settle down and become a very good baseball team after that. So remember, do the fundamentals, catch the ones you're supposed to catch, and make the spectacular play when you have to make the spectacular play. We're going to talk more about that. We're going to have a lot of fun tonight. Baseball here at Gardner Edgerton High School. You're watching GEHS TV on MSTC Sports. And welcome back to Blazer Field for Blazer Baseball as the team's prepared to uh, get ready for the national anthem. Watching the, watching the coaches as we uh, exchange lineup cards. Once again, the visitors from North Shiny Mission Northwest come to play our Trail Blazers a, uh, a visit here. You know, one of the other players I really want to talk about tonight is Tyler Butash. Uh, Butash is the, is the catcher, one of those. Uh, uh, All-around athletes, football, basketball, and baseball. So, expect a big game out of him tonight too. So, to get ready now for the national anthem, we'll turn it over to the public address announcer. A safe environment, so our students can continue to participate in the activities they love.
Ladies and gentlemen, here are tonight's starting lineups. First, for the visiting Cougars of Shamish Northwest. Batting first and playing center field, number three, Duke Hankey. Pitching, batting second, number nine, Tyler Gundelfinger. Batting third and playing shortstop, number two, Ryan Borberg. Batting fourth and playing left field, number eight, Landon Luttrell. Batting fifth and playing third base, number seven, Blake Reeder. Batting sixth and playing right field, number four, Ty Blecka. Batting seventh and catching, number 33, Vibov Murata. Batting eighth and playing first base, number 25, Callum Taylor. Batting ninth and playing second base, number 16, Drew Dickerson. And now for your Gardner Edgerton Trailblazers. Batting first and playing center field, number one, Ty Wood. Batting second, playing left field, number seven, Jake McClure. Batting third, playing shortstop, number four, Hayden Dyer. Batting fourth, playing third base, number 16, Austin Bowie. Batting fifth, playing second base, number five, Carson Schreck. Batting sixth and catching, number nine, Tyler Boutash. Batting seventh, pitching and designated hitting, number 33, Mitch Mock. Batting eighth, playing first base, number 21, Dawson Williams. Batting ninth, playing right field, number two, Landon Turner. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that all who are able to do so, please rise and face right field with the United States flag as we play our national anthem. rendition of our national anthem played here at Blazer Field. Trailblazers take the field. Ready to play a little baseball tonight. Let's see Mitch Mock will be on the hill tonight instead of coming out of the bullpen. Mitch has, has a uh, very effective curveball and a very effective uh, fastball. Mitch is, mixes his pitches very well and um, likes to keep hitters off balance. He does a very good job of doing that. He can get the ground ball when he needs it. He can also get the fly ball. He can get the double play ball when he needs it as well. So Mitch Mock, a 10th grader here at Gardner Edison High School, also a basketball player here as well. So uh, he's a good looking athlete. Shiny Mission Northwest comes to town. Play the Trail Blazers here tonight. A lot of hardy parents out fighting the, the northerly breeze. Past few days has been the wind been out of the south and it's been uh, brutal. Now it's the exact opposite. Now it's blowing in our faces and, and it's cold. So it's supposed to be spring. It'll get here eventually. Trailblazers looking to capitalize on their win from the other night against Belton. They can't keep it going. Stay with us here on GHS TV is uh, an MSTC Sports. As of April first, we will televise the uh, softball varsity softball game against Shiny Mission West. Then again on April 6th, more baseball. The, the Varsity Boys will take on the Shiny Mission West Vikings as well. And then on April 8th, once again with the girls from softball, taking on Olathe North. So a lot of action coming up on GEHS TV. 
right here on uh, uh, MSTC Sports. So, okay, looks like we're ready to play ball. Cougars. At the center fielder, Hinky. Center fielder, number three, Luke Hinky. Hinky leads it off for the Cougars. First pitch and strike. Important for Mitch to work ahead in the count today. Here's this nice little curveball. That's strike two. Mitch quickly out in front. New balls, two strikes. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And there's a shot to first base. Williams picks it up, steps on first, one away. Now batting for the Cougars. The pitcher, number nine, Tyler Gundelfinger. Tyler Gunderfinger comes to the plate. First pitch swung on and miss. Mitch is rearing back and throwing. He's got some good stuff tonight. Yeah, there's going to be a shot to the second baseman. Shrek has it, throws over to Williams. Out number two. Now batting for Shamish Northwest. Number two, the shortstop, Ryan Borber. Shortstop, Ryan Borber up now. Ball's oh, gonna be a little low on outside. Which doesn't waste a lot of time. He gets the baseball. Gets a signal, gets set. Here it comes. A little bit inside. Lutash doing a good job of trying to frame that. Ball two. Oh, that's a little low on inside. Three balls and no strikes. To Borberg. Shortstop for the Cougars. Here the strike at the knees. Hitters count here. Borberg looking for something he can he can pull. Nice little hole between the third and short. Pitch inside. It's going to take ball four as he walks. Mitch's first walk of the game. Now batting for the Cougars. The left fielder, number eight, Landon Luttrell. Left fielder now, Landon Luttrell up for the Cougars. Cleanup hitter. Borberg over at first. Small lead. Mitch looks over. Comes in with the pitch. Strike one. Mitch does a really good job of holding runners on, too. Let's see what kind of running team the Cougars may be. Wants to get another short lead over for Borberg at first. Curveball. Drag two. It jumps out in front, no balls and two strikes. A bit bigger lead over first base. Butash with a great arm. And he's going to get called third strike. Outstanding job by Mitch Mock here in the first inning. So after one half inning, it's the Cougars nothing. The Trailblazers Ladies coming up to bat. In order to mitigate risk factors associated with COVID-19. My job is to help new homeowners who have turned into their parents. I got into this because I was a sufferer. I turned into my dad, but I came back, and I'm here to help others come back. This is my baby right here, Dr. Rick. I'm becoming your parents. It came about where my parentology thoughts, I was coming up with so many of them, I thought, I don't need to just have this. The world should have it. So I just birthed it you know, right out of me. Sometimes we have a victory and I, I relish those. Probably need a hacksaw at some point. No, no, no. But most of the time we don't. 
general rule of thumb with throw pillows, if there's nowhere to sit, you have too many. Parentology is not an officially recognized field yet, but I think um, we're making strides in that direction. You, you just have to keep reminding them you are your own person. You're not your parents, you're you. Welcome back to Trailblazer Baseball as Ty Wood comes up for the Trailblazers. Outstanding first half inning for the Trailblazers as Mitch Mock throws only 12 pitchers and able to retire the, the Cougars. Tyler Wood started off here for the Trailblazers. Tall, lanky right-hander on the mound for the Cougars. Gendel Finger. First pitch is high for ball one. Tyler Wood had a double the other night, hit one straight down the right field line. Able to get a couple rallies going. Paul's inside. Tyler leads off, Tyler leads off as well because he's got a really good eye. That pitch is inside as well. Three balls and no strikes. Gunderfinger. In trouble of walking, Ty. Ty Wood, an individual you really don't want on the base because he's got speed. And Ty swings at the 3-0 pitch, fouls it straight back. Here's the 3-1 pitch. And Ty sends a fly ball to left field. The fielder is camping under it, and the trail able to make the catch out in left field. So, one away. Now batting for the Trailblazers, the left fielder, number seven, Jake McClure. And Jake McClure coming to the plate. Number seven. Jake's another very good hitter. Takes the first pitch for a strike. You know, Jake has a body type. He reminds me a lot of Alex Gordon with that number seven. Hitting from the left side, and there's a, a shot up to the middle. Shortstop comes in, takes it, and two down. That's Jake hustling down to first base, but unable to beat the throw. Up next for the Trailblazers, the shortstop, number four, Hayden Dyer. Peyton Dyer coming to the plate. Dyer turned on a couple of pitches the other night. Hit, drove in a few, couple of runs. First pitch is high. Curveball in there for a strike. Are one of those seniors that the Trailblazers depend on for leadership. And there's a shot. Third baseman scoops it up, throws across the first, and the Trailblazers are retired. So at the end of one, we are scoreless here at Edgerton Field. After one complete, we'll be right back after this break.
mock out for a second inning to work here as the Trailblazers are playing the Cougars from Sunny Mission Northwest. Score is tied 0-0. Mitch had a very effective first inning. He did walk one, but threw only 12 pitches. Able to retire the Cougars. Leading off for the Cougars will be the third baseman, Reeder. Mitch had one strikeout in that inning. He struck out the last bat. He struck out Latrell. Caught, caught looking. On the second for the Cougars. The third baseman, number seven, Blake Reeder. Good thing about Mitch, too. He was able to keep the ball down, so he had three ground ball, he had two ground ball outs. And Reeder fouls it straight back. Strike one. Again, join us April 1st for Shiny Mission West as the girls softball team will take on the Vikings. We'll be here to televise that right here on GEHS TV, MSTC Sports. Ground ball to Bowie. Bowie goes across the diamond and just in time to catch Reader. So two pitches for Mitch, one out. Now batting for Shiny Mission Northwest. The right fielder, number four, Ty Blecka. Ty Blecka coming to the plate now, the right fielder for the Cougars. Here's the strike. Mitch doing a good job of getting ahead in the count. Here's the second pitch. There's a ground ball to the shortstop. I said second baseman. Strike picks it up, throws off the Williams for two outs. Now batting for the Cougars. The catcher, number 33, Bob Murata. Murata coming to the plate now in the catcher. Ground ball to the shortstop. Dyer scoops it up. Long throw just in time. So Mitch, once again, very effective. So at the end of one and a half, it's the Cougars nothing and the Trailblazers nothing. My job is to help new homeowners who have turned into their parents. I got into this because I was a sufferer. I turned into my dad, but I came back. And I'm here to help others come back. This is my baby right here. Dr. Rick, I'm becoming your parents. It came about where my parentology thoughts, I was coming up with so many of them, I thought, I don't need to just have this, the world should have it. So I just birthed it you know, right out of me. Sometimes we have a victory and I, I relish those. Probably need a hacksaw at some point. No, no, no. But most of the time we don't. General rule of thumb, we throw pillows. If there's nowhere to sit, you have too many. Parentology is not an officially recognized field yet, but I think um, we're making strides in that direction. You, you just have to keep reminding them, you are your own person. You're not your parents. You're you. Hey, welcome back to Blazers Field with the Trail Blazers. And the Cougars are no score here going to the bottom of the second inning. Gundelfinger on the hill for the Cougars coming out for his second inning to work. He's able to retire the Trail Blazers. In the bottom of the first inning on just six pitch on just seven pitches. So he was work very effective as well with his pitch count. Leading off is going to be third baseman. Bowie. Austin Bowie able to make the last defensive play in the last inning. Bowie hit the ground ball to the second baseman. Second baseman's there, throws him out. One pitch and one out. going to bring the second baseman for the Trailblazers. Shrek to the plate. Carson Shrek coming to the plate. Trailblazers have been very aggressive at the plate. Usually first pitch swinging. Pitches a little low. Ball one. It's a cool afternoon, so it kind of favors the pitchers. Wind's blowing out of the north at their backs. Curveball inside. 
Missed it. Two balls, no strikes. Pitch to Carson. Ball's high. 3 0. Here's another guy you don't want on base. Shrek and run. Probably be taken here. Man, he taken all the way. Takes the strike. Now he's looking for something he could probably drive. So three balls, one strike. Still no score here in the bottom of the second inning. And strike two. Count is now full as Gunter Fingles able to fingers able to um, even the count. Three balls and two strikes, one out, no score. And the pitch. And he's going to get caught looking for strike three. So Gundelfinger doing a good job of coming back from down 3-0 in the count to throwing three straight strikes. The catcher, number nine, Tyler Butas. Tyler Butas coming to the plate. Ball high. Butash has thrown some pop in his bat as well early in the season here. Doing a good job of calling games behind the plate, too. Curveball, going to just a little bit outside. Gundelfinger's curve got some break on it. That's going to be a little low. Once again, for the second straight batter, Gundelfinger is down in the count, three balls and no strikes. But Shrek, he came back and struck him out on three straight pitches after that. So here's the 3-0 pitch. Oh, it's a delayed call for a strike. Gundelfinger able to grab the outside corner on that. 3-1 pitch. That ball's going to be outside, and Butash takes the walk. Now batting for Gardner Anderson. The pitcher, number 33, Mitch Mock. It's going to bring Mitch Mock to the plate. Mock's not only a, not only a great, a really good pitcher, but he's also a very good hitter. Got a lot of power, especially to left center and left field. Ball outside. Let's see how Gundelfinger acts now with the runner on base. Butash a short lead over at first. There's the pitch. Ball going to be low and away as well. But Gundelfinger's nibbling at that outside corner. Butash. Draws a throw, back. Butash not known for his speed, but he can run. Once again, he gets a little short lead. Here's the pitch. Mitch swing and a miss for a strike. Fastball right down the middle. One pitch. Here goes Butash. And no, he's going to draw no throws. He got a great jump. Well, Butash now in scoring position with two outs. Ball was high, so it was three and one. Runner at second. Nobody out. Trailblazers threatening the runner at second base. Here comes a three one pitch. Mitch takes the walk. Ball is outside. Now batting for the Trailblazers. The first baseman, number 21, Dawson Williams. Dawson Williams to the plate. Number 21. Runners at first and second. So Dawson can show a little pace and get a pitch that he wants. Huge hole on the left side of the infield where the second shortstop is playing all the way up the middle. There's a throwback. 
Butash safely back in at second base. Anything in the air is going to get knocked down. So the wind blowing out of the north, straight out of left field. Here's the pitch. Man, Williams takes a strike at the letters. Once again, Butash getting a comfortable lead at second base. Curve ball. Ball gets, you're going to say it's a foul tip. As Williams was able to get a piece of it. Now down in the count, no balls and two strikes. And here comes the 0-2 pitch. Uh, takes it high. Once again, if Williams can take advantage of that left side, he's got a lot of room over there between second and short. I mean, between short and third. There's a curve ball that breaks high. Even to count at two and two. Pitch. And Williams swings and fouls it straight back. Count remains at two and two. Deuces a while. Two, two balls, two strikes, two outs here in the second inning. From a no score. Williams trying to put the Trailblazers ahead. Here comes it. Runners go. And then a line shot right into left field. As Williams is able to take advantage of that big hole on the left side of the infield and able to drive in a run. So the Trailblazers now lead one to nothing. Now batting for Gardner Edgerton, the right fielder. Number two, Lackett Turner. Good piece of hitting by Williams. As he was able to turn on a fastball and drive it to left field. Driving in the first run of the game as Butash scores. Turner at the plate, right fielder for the Trailblazers. First pitch is in for a strike. Runner still first and second. Turner like to find a, a hole at that same place. It's still a huge hole between second and third, or third and short. Here comes the 0 1 pitch. Ball's inside, gets by the catcher, and everybody's going to move up one. Actually, he hits the runner, so everybody moves up. Now batting for the Trailblazers, the center fielder, number one, Todd Wood. And back to the top of the order for the Trailblazers. Todd Wood comes to the plate. Todd grounded out. He flew out to um, center field at first, the left field at first time. Takes the ball high. with a chance of driving a couple runs here today for the Trailblazers, and that pitch is going to be outside. So tie ahead in the count. Two balls and no strikes. McClure is on deck. Comes the 2-0 pitch. That pitch is going to be high as well. So now Gundelfinger's found himself in a bit of trouble. Mock at third, Williams at first. Well, Mock, Williams at second, Turner's at first. And the ball forward. And so Gundelfinger will walk in a run. Mock comes in to score. Manager for the Cougars goes out to have a talk with his pitcher. After a very efficient first inning where he only threw seven pitches, he's thrown quite a few pitches here in this second inning. Kendall 
fingers throwing 25 pitches now this inning. The Trailblazers, the left fielder, number seven, Jake McClure. Clear at the plate with the bases loaded, looking to drive in a couple runs himself. Here comes the 0-1 pitch, and Gundelfinger's having a hard time trying to find the strike zone. And he finds the strike zone with that one. Counts one and one. Bases are loaded. Trailblazers already have one run across. Here in the bottom of the second inning. And McClure hits one to the shortstop. The long throw across the diamond. And he's able to keep his toe on the bag and to record the out. So after Our two, the Trailblazers one, Cougars nothing. Bison have a unique response to storms. In the face of adversity, they turn together and run directly into the oncoming weather. They don't try to hide from it or sit idly by, waiting for it to pass. The herd addresses it, head on, together. Kansas is no stranger to challenges. Our state motto, to the stars through difficulties, lives beyond the state crest. It's emblazoned on our souls. It's the thread that connects the fabric of Kansas. We were made by hands that toiled in the unforgiving land, forged on the belief that freedom is our greatest calling. Kansas will be waiting. We'll be free to explore again. Until then, we'll make it through this the only way we know how, head on and together. Welcome back to Gardner Field here at Gardner Edgerton High School at Blazer Baseball. Trouble is able to jump out early on a nice single by Williams as he's able to drive in the runner from second base. Good piece of hitting. So we see if Mitch Mock can't keep the Cougars off the board here in the third. Taylor at the plate for the Cougars. Takes ball one. Taylor's the first baseman. There's the old one pitch, one old pitch. Ground ball to third. Oh, gets under the glove of Bowie. Taylor's looking for two, takes the big turn and comes on back. Now heading for Shamus Northwest, the second baseman, number 16. I think they're going to give an error to, to Bowie over at third base. Easy ground ball. Missed it. Goes right up under his glove. Here's the pitch. Here's a bunch. Straight back. As Dickerson's looking to move Taylor over to second base. He may not have gotten the bunt down, but it that does force Bowie to come in a little bit at third base. Taylor goes. Here goes Butash with the throw. He's going to be out. Butash guns him down, trying to steal on him. Outstanding play. Curveball. Just missed. Butech's done a good runner, good job of shooting down runners this year. Got a timeout in the boxes. Dickerson steps out. One ball and two strikes. 
curveball breaks high. Two and two. Here's the ground ball to Bowie. Gets another opportunity. Long throw across the bag. Williams Jones goes up and gets it and brings it down. Nice play by Williams. The center fielder, number three, Duke Hankey. Here comes the throw. The runner looking back, trying to, and he gets gunned down. Apparently, it may have been a hit and run because he was looking for, looking back at the plate like he expected the runner to swing, to be uh, to, to take a swing. So it's ball one for Hankey. Hankey takes a strike. And I think he takes another strike as Mock able to bend one in there. There comes the strike. And this it's gonna be hit in the right right center field. I think he's able to stay with the curveball and drive it to right center. He'll be on first base with two outs. Now batting. For Shamish Northwest, the pitcher, number nine, Tyler Gundelfinger. Gundelfinger coming to the plate now and see if he can't try to help himself a little bit. Ball is low. Good job by Butash to block that. Gundelfinger hits one to third. Bowie gets another chance. The long throw across the diamond, and he's able to retire Gundelfinger. So after a Tony for that one error, he comes up and makes a couple of nice plays. So at the end of two and a half, it's Trailblazers two, Cougars nothing. Everyone, we made it. My job is to help new homeowners who have turned into their parents. I'm having a big lunch and then just a snack for so dinner. So we're just using a speakerphone in this store. Is that a good idea? One of the ways I do that is to get them out of the home. You're looking for a grout brush. This Guard, is did he ask for your help? No. 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 We all see it. We all see it. He has blue hair. Okay. Blue. Progressive can't protect you from becoming your parents, but we can protect your home and auto when you bundle with us. Keep it coming. At Children's Mercy, we know that trust is everything. And you can trust that we will do whatever it takes to protect the health and safety of your child. Especially now. So we put our plan into action, implementing safety measures at every step of the way. Whether it's technology that allows you to see your doctor from home. We're carefully planning out every visit so you'll know what to expect. Because we want you and your child to feel safe at our home too. Welcome back to Blazers Field. Jordan Edison Trail Blazers lead the Cougars from Shiny Mission Northwest, two to nothing. Shortstop Dwyer will start it off here for the Blazers here at the bottom of third inning. Dwyer grounded out 5-3, third base, first baseman last time up. The shortstop, number four, Hayden Dyer. Dyer 0 for 1 today. Catches Dyer reaching on that one, able to foul it back. Gundelfinger, Gundelfinger back out for his uh, third inning of work after struggling mightily in the second inning. He threw 33 pitches then. Man. Dyer able to beat one into the ground. Third baseman comes in and he can't handle it. That would have been a tough play either way. Dwyer hustling down the line. for the Trailblazers, the third baseman, number 16, Austin. Bowie coming to the plate. Austin grounded out to shortstop last time. 
sorry, Austin grounds out to second base the last time. Barr with the lead over first. Ball one low from Gundelfinger. Barr is a threat to run. Gundelfinger takes the peek over at him. We got a timeout as Bowie was able to get the timeout. able to get back. I'm sure that wasn't Gundelfinger's A move. Just letting Dyer know that. I know you're over there. Here comes the pitch. It's going to be at the knees. One ball and one strike count. We didn't like the call, but it was pitched at the knees. One ball and one strike. Runner at first. Here comes the pitch. And the ball's gonna be inside. And so Dwyer's easily makes it into second base. Now he's in scoring position. The boys ahead in the count. Two balls and one strike. Now I'm really looking for something he can just put on the pull to the right side just to get the runner over to third base. Here comes the ball's gonna be low. So the count is now three balls in one strike. Here comes the 3-1 pitch. And ground it through as Bowie's able to find the gap. And here comes Dyer as he's streaking around third base. Here comes the throw. He's going to be in there safely. Throw goes out to second. And Bowie's in there safely at second base. Good piece of hitting by Bowie as he's able to drive the ball in the right field. And on the throw, which was cut off, able to get into second base. Now you see here, as Bowie the turns on the pitch, Number hits it between the, in the hole. Sure. Right fielder comes up, he waits for the throw home, and Bowie never stops. Cut off by the first baseman, he slides into second base safely after driving in Dyer. So that's going to be a single for Dyer. Moving on to second base on the throw. Pitches inside, and Shrek squares up. Ball one. Shrek struck out looking last time. He squares up again, fouls this one back. One ball and one strike. Coach Shrek trying to move the runner over to third base to get him in the scoring position. Second base, getting a nice lead. Here comes it. Gets it inside, pass ball, ball gets by the catcher. As Bowie makes a wide turn at third, so another wild pass ball. Shrek ahead in the count, two balls and one strike. Ball gets by 
catcher and rolls to the wall. Advances Bowie over to third base. And Shrek with a chance to drive him in. As for time, granted by the umpire. Gundle fingers really slowed the pace down. Still nobody out here in the bottom of third. There's going to be a guy right down the line as Shrek is able to hit it down the left field line. He stops, he slows down, and he just decides to stay at first base. A good piece of hitting by Shrek as he's able to drive in Bowie from third base. Next up for the Trailblazers, the catcher, number nine, Tyler Bouta. Tyler Butte is coming to the plate with a runner at first base and nobody out. Trailblazers lead 3-0 here in the bottom of the third inning. Shrek gets his lead over at first. Butte is able to lay down the bunt right back to the pitcher. Looks at first, throws the first, one out. And Butte does a good job of advancing Shrek over to second base. Now up for the Blazers. The pitcher, number 33, Mitch. Mock comes to the plate with a runner at second base and one out. Mock took a base on balls the last time he came around to score. Ball's going to be low. One pitch to Mock. And there's a ground ball to the shortstop. Shortstop able to pick it up, throw to first, and gets Mock. As Shrek is able to move over to third base. Next up for the Trailblazers, the first baseman, number 21, Dawson Williams. Dawson Williams coming to the plate now. Dawson singled his last time up. Trailblazers lead four to nothing here in the bottom of the third inning. Pitch is high. Ball one. Trek over at third base. Coming down the line. Here's the pitch. And that's going to hit Williams as he. Takes one for the team. Now batting for the Blazers. The right fielder, number two, Landon Turner. Turner comes up after being hit by a pitch himself the last half inning. The last inning, that is his last at bat, I should say. He was hit by a pitch. Throw up have runners at first and third. Two outs. Currently leading four to nothing. And Williams draws the throw. And Turner over to Tater on one, knocked it in the right field. He's going to drive in Shrek. Williams hustling on his way to third base. He's going to stay, slide into third base, going to first to third. And Turner's able to drive in a run with a solid single to right field. Trail base is now leads five to nothing. The center fielder, number one, Todd Wood. Ty Wood coming up for the third time here in the in the third in the game. Flew out the left field and drew a walk. His last time at bat. Here's the pitch to Wood. Wood turns, fouls it straight up. 
Man, out of play. Strike one on Ty. Ty looking to drive Williams in from third base. Gunter Fingal throws it in, and a little play was on, but no. Trying to catch uh, Williams sleeping over at third, but he was on to it, and Turner's able to swipe second base. One ball and one strike. Wood asks for timeout. It's granted. It steps up. Single now, drive in two runs. Here comes the pitch. Wood takes it outside. Ball two. And the pitch is going to be high. Ball three. Three balls and one strike. I mentioned during the pregame where the Trailblazers have to be more aggressive and swinging the bats and swinging at good pitches. And they've done that today so far. They've got some good pitches and they've hit some good pitches. Man, swing and a miss by Tyler. Full count. Three balls and two strikes. Two outs. McClure on deck. Gundelfinger on the hill. Here comes the 3-2 pitch. And he's going to get called out looking. So the Trailblazers are able to play three more during that inning. And they currently lead five to nothing at the end of three. And welcome back to Blazers Field. Trail Blazers lead the Cougars from Shiny Mission Northwest five to nothing. The Cougars able to, to put a three spot on the board in the last inning against Gunderfinger. Mitch Mock still on the hill for the Trail Blazers, pitching a gem of a ball game. He's only given up two hits. The shortstop, number two, Ryan Borber. Borber at the plate. He walked the last time. First pitch swinging. It's a slow roller. And they're going to let the ball roll foul. Good decision by Bowie. So strike one on Borberg. He hustles back to the plate. Tyler waiting there with the bat for him. The 0 1 pitch. And breaks it off a little bit short. 1 and 1 to count. Once again, I shot the third. Bowie comes in, comes up, and not, not going to have a play as Borberg hustles down the line. So he's on with an infield single.
good pitch by Mock. Now batting for the Cougars. The left fielder, number eight, him, Landon Latrell. Hit him on the hands, but Warburg strong enough to hit a slow roller down the third that Bowie had no play on. So runner at first base for the Cougars. Latrell at the plate. Here comes the pitch. Curveball breaks it off. Butash able to block it, but rolled far enough away where Borberg was able to move down to second base, so that will be a pass ball. And Mitch hits the outside corner, fastball. Warburg leading off from second base. Trailblazers infield standing straight up. And the pitch curveball. That ball is going to be just a great catch by Dyer, who's going to double off Warburg. So Dyer able to make a fantastic play at shortstop. Make the catch and able to double off Borberg as he strayed a little bit too far away from second base. Now batting for Shamish Northwest, the third baseman, number seven, Blake Reeder. And ball fouled straight back. So Mitch goes from runner to second base with nobody out to no one on and two outs. Third baseman Reader is at the plate. Down the count, no ball, no ball, one strike. And that ball is going to be straight up in the air. As Butash finally finds it. And, he, and it stucks up in the screen. Oh, there was a collective groan as the the ball went up and through the screen as Butash and Mock both were like, oh. <laughs> so it counts no balls and two strikes on Reader. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And that ball is going to be hit in the right center field. It's going to get down. Reader's going to round first. And the throw comes in from Wood. So Cougars run at first base. Two outs. Now batting for the Cougars. The right fielder, number four, Ty Blecka. Blecka at the plate now. Batting left-handed. And he takes the strike. Mitch has done a wonderful job all day long getting ahead of the hitters. Pitching on his terms. And he takes another one for strike two. He's only walked one today. And here comes the 0-2 pitch. It's a ground ball in the hole. Dyer scoops it up. Long throw. He's going to be safe. And they're going to call him out at first base. What a play by Dyer. Make two outstanding plays this half inning. We'll talk more about that when we come back. After four and a half, it's the Blazers five, Cougars nothing. On behalf of everyone in our community and in healthcare, thank you for doing your part. We appreciate your doing your part to keep us all safe. When in public, stay six feet away from others. Wash your hands often for at least 20 seconds with soap and water. Wear a mask. Together, we are slowing the spread of this virus. And together, we are saving lives. When it comes to higher education, Johnson County Community College delivers more for your money. More opportunities to learn outside the classroom, more interaction with caring instructors, more personalized attention with supportive student services. Discover more at JCCC.
Change your life through learning. Change your life at Johnson County Community College. Call 913-469-3803 or visit jccc.edu to learn more. On behalf of everyone in our community and in health. Hey, welcome back to Trailblazers Stadium. It's as McClure will lead it off for the Trailblazers, have a new battery out there for the uh, Cougars. Number 29 is the new pitcher. I'll get his name here in a minute. And we have a new catcher as well. So, And McClure takes it high for ball one. Curveball. Nice pitch. Cluer takes it for a strike. Comes a one one pitch. McClure able to turn on one, gets it out there in the outfield. It's going to be trouble on the left fielder dives. He can't get it. McClure makes a big turn, hits the brakes, goes back to first base. So McClure, after being 0 for 2, is able to find a hold out in left field, gets him a single. Now batting for Gardner Edgerton, the shortstop, number four, Hayden Dyer. Hayden Dyer up and down. One for two after singling his last time at bat. Dyer reaching, fouls one off to the right side. First base getting his lead off. He goes there. He goes on the run. Here comes the throw. Strong throw, and McClure is in there. Able to swipe second base. Puts him in the scoring position. Count is even at one and one. Pitch on the outside, two balls and one strike. And Dwyer hits one. Fly ball to center field. McClure tags up, fakes it, and goes right back to second base. So anything in the air is going to get knocked down because the wind is such a stiff breeze. Austin Bowie at the plate. Austin takes strike. Clover still at second base. Sides of belief. Big hole on the left side. The shortstop is playing right on top of second base. Here comes the pitch. Pitches our way. One ball and one strike. I would think if your shortstop is playing behind second base, the last place you want to miss is on the outside corner. One and one. The pitch, curve, and Bowie takes, gets hit again. Takes another one for the team. Carson Shrek coming to the plate. Now batting for Gardner Edgerton, the second baseman, number five, Carson Shrek. Shrek singled and scored his last time. Struck out looking his first time at bat. He's got runners at first and second. He's got one out. Here comes the pitch. 
And he pops one straight up in the air. Infield fly rule is in effect. And runners can advance at their own risk, but infield fly rule was called, so the batter is automatically out. Now batting for Gardner Anderson, the catcher, number nine, Tyler Boucher. Butash at the plate now. And Butash turns on one, hits it out the left, out the center field. Center field is looking for it, and he brings it in. So, Trailblazers waste a couple of runners on base. After five, after, after five it's the Trailblazers five. five. Yes, Zero. nothing. At Children's Mercy, we know that trust is everything. And you can trust that we will do whatever it takes to protect the health and safety of your child. Especially now. So we put our plan into action, implementing safety measures at every step of the way. Whether it's technology that allows you to see your doctor from home. We're carefully planning out every visit so you'll know what to expect. Because we want you and your child to feel safe at our home too. When it comes to higher education, Johnson County Community College delivers more for your money. More opportunities to learn outside the classroom, more interaction with caring instructors, more personalized attention with supportive student services. Discover more at JCCC. Change your life through learning. Change your life at Johnson County Community College. Call 913-469-3803 or visit jccc.edu to learn more. And welcome back to Trailblazers Baseball here. The Trailblazers going into the top of the fifth inning. Lead the Cougars from Shawnee Mission Northwest five to nothing. Mitch Mock still pitching for the Trailblazers, giving up four hits. He's only walked one, doing a really good job pitching the shutout. Trailblazers have taken advantage of some timely hitting and some good base running, along with some excellent defense from, from Dyer. Dyer made two outstanding plays the last half inning. Getting the double unassisted, the, the double play on his own, and then able to scoop one up and, and throw the runner out just at first base. So Trailblazers defense has been fantastic. And Mitch Smock is still pitching on the hill. First pitch is a strike. Now batting for Northwest, number 12, Riley Weininger. Riley Weiniger pops one up down the right field line, and it is out of play. <laughs> Weiniger down the count, 0 and 2. Weiniger batting for Miranda. Ronda was 0 for 1 when he was there. Two balls in, two strikes. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Mitch able to throw the curveball, just a little low. And hits it. And a diving catch by Bowie over at third base as he is able to leave his feet and stab it down. So Bowie flashing the leather out there today. I tell you, the Trailblazers left side of the Trailblazers defense has been flashing some serious leather. Number 25, Callan Taylor. First baseman Taylor at the plate now. Taylor had a single the last time he was up, but gunned down trying to steal second base by Tyler Butash. And pitching at the knees. One ball and one strike. 
And a swing and a miss on the off-speed pitch. Taylor's way out in front of it. Dave Mitch has been helped out by his defense. Some excellent leather work from his third base and shortstops. And another curveball. This is a slow roll to Dyer. Dyer scoops it up, throws on the run. And Williams able to dig it out for out number two. Now batting for the Cougars. The second baseman, number 16, Drew Dickerson. Drew Dickerson coming to the plate now for the Cougars. Once again, don't forget, April 1st here on MSTC Sports and GHS TV, we'll be bringing you the girls softball as they play Shiny Mission West on Thursday night. So stay tuned for that too. And the boys' next baseball game will be April 6th. Next varsity baseball game will be April 6th, uh, also against Shiny Mission West. So a lot of action coming up here on GHS TV, MSTC Sports. Stay with us. One ball and one strike. Two down. Here comes a curve ball, and Mitch has been snapping that curve all day long. So one ball and two strikes now. Dickerson in the hole. Here comes the pitch, and that ball is going to be lined in the left field for a base hit as Dickerson got a pitch that was up and able to drive it to left field. Now batting for Shawnee Mission Northwest. Number three, the center fielder, Duke Henke. And that's going to bring up Henke, center fielder. He singled the last time. Comes a pitch. There's a ground ball to Dyer again. Dyer runs in, throws across body, and throws a strike to first base and able to retire the side. So Mitch does a good job of pitching out of that. After four and a half, it's the Trailblazers five, Cougars nothing. We're at the movies and we need to silence our phone. Who knows where that button is? I don't have silent. Everyone does, right up here. It happens to all of us. We buy a new home and we turn into our parents. What I do is help new homeowners overcome this. Was that an adjustable spanner? Good choice, Steve. Okay, don't forget, you're not assisting him. You hired him. You have nowhere to sit. You have too many. Who else reads books about submarines? My dad. Yeah. Oh, those are... Progressive can't protect you from becoming your parents, but we can protect your home and auto when you bundle with us. Look at that. Food is life. It's the building blocks of our amazing bodies. Food is strength. It powers us in the pursuit of our full potential. Food is energy. It fuels our accomplishments, big and small. It nourishes us in mind, body, and spirit. Food is health, fitness, and our future. For freshness, selection, and low prices, Kansas City knows. Price Chopper. And we're back at Trailblazers Stadium. Mitch Mock leading off for the Trailblazers here. Currently pitching a gym. He's also the designated hitter tonight. And starts off Mitch with a slow curve ball that breaks low. It's a cold, blustery day here in Gardner. Gardner Edgerton High School. Is, you gotta give it to the give it up to the parents and the other relatives, brothers and sisters, and aunts and uncles and grandparents that have come out to watch the kids play today. It's a cold day. More football weather than baseball. Man, Mitch takes a strike. Man, Mitch falls one straight back. Hopefully we'll get a, get a shot of the Edgerton crowd over there. They're all bundled up. Supporting their team and here on the side where I'm at, the Cougar fans are all bundled up, supporting their team as well. So you got to give it up to the parents during this COVID era. My hat goes off to them. And Mitch takes the pitch outside. Two balls and two strikes. <laughs> if 
five nothing. Trailblazers lead the Cougars. Curveball and hey, caught Mitchell looking. Now batting for the Trailblazers, the first baseman, number 21, Dawson Williams. So Dawson Williams comes to the plate. He was hit by a pitch the last time. Singled his first bat, first at bat. He's one for one today. Man, pitch is going to be high. Williams has played an outstanding first base as well. He's been, dug a couple pitches, uh, dirt balls out of the dirt, and had to go up high for a couple of them. And he turns on this one, fouls it straight back. <laughs> Look here, it's Mitch, that big breaking ball, and catches Mitch looking. Big hook. And Williams fouls the next one straight back as well. Down in the count. One ball in, two strikes. Here comes the one-two pitch. Curveball breaks a little low and away. Good job by the catcher to block that. And that's going to be direct. That's a fair ball as it goes over the bag at third base. Williams rounds first, heading to second base, hustling in, and he's going to go in head first, and he's going to make it. So Williams with a double down the left field line that was right over the bag. Now batting for Gardner Hedgerson, the right fielder. Number two, Landon Turner. Williams down in scoring position with one out. Turner at the plate. Turner singled his last time up. He's been hit by a pitch today as well. So runner at second base, one out. Trailblazers lead 5-0 here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Here comes the pitch. And Turner takes it inside for ball one. That was the old one pitch. Pitch is high. Ball two. You know, I mentioned earlier, as in regards to the Trailblazers playing fundamental baseball, they've done that today as well. They haven't made any errors, which is outstanding. They haven't made any running base, base running errors either. And Turner gets one in the air. Center fielder calls for it. He takes it, gets the ball back into the infield as Turner flies out to the center fielder. Now batting for Gardner Edgerton. The center fielder, number one, Todd Woods. So Ty Woods comes up for the fourth time in this game. And swing and a miss. Strike one. Ty's flat out to left field. He's walked and Got caught looking. Last at bat. And ball hits him on the shin guard. So he'll get hit by a pitch for the second time today. Now batting for Gardner Edgerton. The shortstop, number four. The left field, number seven. Jake McClure. Jake at the plate. Jake singled the last time, stole a base. He's one for two today. Runners at first and second. Two outs here in the fifth inning. Trailblazers lead five to nothing. And Jake takes a strike.
second baseman playing shortstop moves behind the, the runner. Now moves back to his position. Here comes the pitch. And Jake hits one at the second baseman. Picks it up, throws him out, and retired side is retired. So at the end of five, it's the Trailblazers five, Cougars nothing. Our score after five complete, Gardner Edgerson Trailblazers five, Shiner Sport West. My job is to help new homeowners who have turned into their parents. I got into this because I was a sufferer. I turned into my dad, but I came back and I'm here to help others come back. This is my baby right here. Dr. Rick, I'm becoming your parents. It came about where my parentology thoughts, I was coming up with so many of them, I thought, I don't need to just have this, the world should have it. So I just birthed it, you know, right out of me. Sometimes we have a victory and I, I relish those. Probably need a hacksaw at some point. No, no, no. But most of the time we don't. General rule of thumb, we throw pillows. If there's nowhere to sit, you have too many. Parentology is not an officially recognized field yet, but I think um, we're making strides in that direction. You just have to keep reminding them you are your own person. You're not your parents, you're you. And no one warming up in the bullpen for the Trailblazers, so Coach Streck is going to ride this horse Mitch Mock for another inning. Trailblazers lead 5-0 over Shiny Mission Northwest Cougars here in the top of the sixth inning. Mitch has pitched a very good ball game. He's only walked one batter, given up about five hits, and he struck out. How many has he struck out? He struck Leading out off the top of the sixth for the Cougars. He's only struck out one, Number so nine. he's effectively Dyer using his defense as Dyer and Bouya flash some leather at third and short. Gundelfinger at the plate now. And he pulls it foul. Gundelfinger started off as the starting pitcher for the Cougars. Gave up all five runs. Pitch is low and away. As I mentioned earlier, it's a great day for pitchers. It's cool, a little breezy. Not working very hard. Pitch and foul tip. It's going to finger down in the count. One ball and two strikes. He's 0 for 2 today. And the 0 2 pitch, curveball. Bowie scoops it up, throws across the diamond to Williams, and out number one. So Gundelfinger is 0 for 3 as he grounds out five, now third to first. Now Northwest, the shortstop. Number two, Ryan Borberg. Borberg at the plate now. He singled his last time. Takes a strike here. Warburg puts a charge into one. His ball's carrying well out the right field as Turner is able to run it down. So Taylor doing a good job of running the baseball down on a windy day when the wind's blowing in. Warburg able to put a little charge in that one. Next up for the Cougars. The left fielder, number eight, Landon Luttrell. Yeah, Luttrell comes to the plate now. <laughs> Ball one to Luttrell. Luttrell lined out to the shortstop. Dwyer made an excellent play to double off Borberg. At that time, Cougars had a run to the second base and nobody out. 
Latrell Lyon won the, the Dyer, who's able to make an outstanding catch and a double off the runner at second base. Counts one and one. Here's a ground ball to, that Bowie scoops up. Low throw, and it's going to be safe at first base. Williams does a good job of digging it out, but Latrell hustling down the line, able to beat it. So he gets an Next infield up hit. For the Cougars, the third baseman, number seven, Blake Reeder. Bring Reeder to the plate. Reeder singled his last time up. Ball's low. Tyler Butash behind the plate for the Blazers. Does a wonderful job back there. He's already thrown out one runner today. Ball pulled foul. Count is one and one. The trail, small lead over at first base. Williams holding the runner on. Pitch. A little low. Two balls and a strike. Five-nothing here. Trailblazers lead. Shiny Mission Northwest. Mitch, once again, pitches low. Three balls and one strike. On the reader. No one warming up in the bullpen yet for the Trailblazers. Three one pitch, foul straight back. As Reader was right on that, just could not square it up. Full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Two outs. Williams plays off the runner at first base. Latrell's going to be off with the pitch. Here comes the pitch, and Reader goes down swinging. So. Mock able to work himself out of that jam at the end of five and a half, five nothing. At Children's Mercy, we know that trust is everything. And you can trust that we will do whatever it takes to protect the health and safety of your child. Especially now. So we put our plan into action, implementing safety measures at every step of the way. Whether it's technology that allows you to see your doctor from home. We're carefully planning out every visit so you'll know what to expect. Because we want you and your child to feel safe at our home too. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Adam Winters of the Kansas Highway Patrol. The Kansas Highway Patrol public resource officers across the great state of Kansas have a message for you. Three out of every four car seats are installed incorrectly. Please read your owner's manual and vehicle manual to learn how to install your car seat correctly. When driving on Kansas highways and you see a trooper in a safety vest and you see the orange cones, you're in a construction zone. Please remember, slow down, don't drive distracted, and move over. It's Kansas law. Now that you've seen us, make sure you see us and all other first responders and road workers. Move over. And welcome back to Gardner Edgerton High School where the Trailblazers lead Shiny Mission Northwest five to nothing here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Shortstop Dyer will lead it off. Takes ball one. Dyer's one for two today. He's singled and scored a run. He's had an outstanding game in the, on the defensive end. He's responsible for eight putouts by himself, or eight assists. And there's a fly ball to right field. And able to pull it in is the right fielder, Bletcher. So Dyer flies out to right field. Now batting for One the down. The third baseman, number 16, Austin Bowie. Brings Austin Bowie to the plate. Bowie's been hit twice by pitches. And he takes the first one outside, ball one. He 
He's also scored a run today, and he's also flashed some good leather over at third base. Man. Strike caught on the inside corner. Man, breaking ball snaps off. So Bowie down in the count, one ball and two strikes. One out here in the top, bottom of the sixth inning. And he swings, misses, throw to first base, and Bowie is out. Now batting for the Trailblazers, the second baseman, number five, Carson Shrek. Brings Carson Shrek to the plate. Carson is single. He scored. And he takes the pitch for strike one. And curveball snaps off a little high, so ball one there. I'm impressed by the these young men able to throw the throw the curveball as well as they can throw it. Mitch has done a good job of throwing this curveball. This young man has done a wonderful job as well. That pitch is going to be inside corner. Strike two. Carson didn't like the call, but Blue Tash is on deck. And here comes the one, two. Man, Carson gets a little piece of it. Back to the pitcher. Hustling down the line. Throws it out. And side is retired. So at the end of six, Trailblazers five. County Mission Northwest. Nothing. What will do it? What will turn today's questions into tomorrow's answers that unlocks the mystery of rare childhood diseases? Love will, because love has no limits. And at Children's Mercy, neither do we. With leading researchers working to find the next advancement that will change outcomes, change lives, and change the world. Children's Mercy. Love will. We're at the movies and we need to silence our phone. Who knows where that button is? I don't have silent. Everyone does, right up here. It happens to all of us. We buy a new home and we turn into our parents. What I do is help new homeowners overcome this. Oh, is that an adjustable spanner? Good choice, Steve. Okay, don't forget, you're not assisting him. You hired him. You have nowhere to sit. You have too many. Who else reads books about submarines? My dad. Yeah. Oh, those are... Progressive yeah. can't protect you from becoming your parents, but we can protect your home and auto when you bundle with us. Look at that. Welcome back to Gardner Edison High School, where the Trailblazers bleed going into the top of the seventh inning. Five nothing over the Cougars. Mitch Mock still on the hill. Has pitched to Jim today. He's walked one and struck out two, giving up six hits, and has used his defense effectively. So Mock's going to try to finish out this game, give the Trailblazers another victory. Leading off for the Cougars will be the right fielder, Bletcher. Bletcher's 0 for 2 today. Grounded out both times. So we're going to see if Mitch Mark can close this out. Close out this shutout. The right fielder, number four, Ty Lecca. Coach Rick is going to go in the rest of the game. No one's warming up. So this is Mitch's game. And here's the pitch. And he offered at the pitch. So he's going to take a strike one. He doesn't like the call, but he did offer at it. So it's strike one from Bletcher. Lecker hits a fly ball to center field. As Wood is able to track it down way off right center field and able to bring it in. So there's one now down. Batting for Shamish Northwest, the catcher, number 12, Riley Weininger. 
Weiniger at the plate. Weiniger lined out the third his first time up. And he takes a swing. Fall ball on the right field line. Williams is tracking it, tracking it, and it's going to be out of play. Strike one on Weiniger. Foul straight back as Weiniger is now in the hole. No balls and two strikes. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Curveball in the dirt. Butash won a good job of blocking that. See if that was just a setup pitch. See if Mitch comes back with a high heater now. And he goes outside with it. Weiniger not offering. Two balls and two strikes. And that one gets away from Mitch. Now the count is full. Here comes the full count pitch. Three balls and two strikes with one out here in the seven. Ball's going to be in the dirt. Gets by Butash, and Weiniger draws the walk. Brings up the first baseman. Cougars, the first baseman, number 25, Callan Taylor. Brings up Taylor, the first baseman. Taylor is, he's singled earlier. Throwing out, trying to steal. There's the pitch. And there's going to be a ground ball. There's going to be trouble for somebody. And Bowie comes up throwing and gets him at first base. So outstanding play by Bowie over at third base. Able to get the runner. Now batting for Simus Northwest. The second baseman, number 16, Drew Dickerson. Dickerson comes to the plate as the last hope for the Cougars here in the top of the seventh inning, trailing five to nothing to, to the Blazers. And first pitch, falls single. They're going to cut the run. They're going to hold him at third base. As Butash, as uh, McClure is able to get to the ball quickly. Runners at first and third now. Top of the order coming now back up. First time mission Northwest. The center fielder, number three, Duke Henke. You know, Mark wants this shut out real bad. First and third. First pitch is low. Ball one. I think he's got one hit today. He's one for two. And the pitch curveball breaks off. Nice pitch by Mitch. Count is one and one. That pitch is a little high. One ball and two strikes. And pitch, ground ball to second base. Shrek's going to pick it up, throw to first. And this ball game is over as Mitch Mock pitches a six and seven hit shutout today. Trailblazers win it five game. to nothing over Shawnee Mission Final Northwest. Four, we'll be back with more right after this message.
fans, welcome back to Trailblazers Field, where the Trailblazers have just defeated the Cougars from Shining Mission Northwest five to nothing on an outstanding pitch game by Mitch Mock, who pitched a seven hitter, striking out two and only walking one. We're gonna look at our play of the game here as the Trailblazers flash some leather and dire over at shortstop, able to stab a pitch that was a uh, stab a ball that was lying right at him and just double the runner off a of second base. Here we can take a look at that as he's making the leap turns and catches the runner at second base. So Mitch went from one out, from runner at first base to nobody out, no, runner at second base to nobody out, to two outs on that outstanding play. So our player of the game will be Mitch Mock, who pitched a complete game, seven hit shutout. And as I mentioned earlier, he only walked one and struck out two. Used his defense effectively as Bowie and, and Dyer were able to flash some leather on the right side of the glove and in the, in the, in the, in the field. And the Trailblazers did a good job of situational hitting. They found the holes where they need to be at. They got some clutch hits, and they were able to score the runs. So, kudos to the, to the Blazers here. Five nothing over Shiny Mission Northwest. And don't forget, April 1st, softball. As the softball will take on Shiny Mission West. We'll bring that to you live on MSTC Sports here on DHS TV. And on April 6th, more baseball with Shiny Mission West. So, this is Chuck Holmes saying good night, good afternoon. Good evening. You guys have a good time, and we will see you on Thursday night.